Good morning and welcome to In Light Connections. Um, uh, we're continuing on with the divine call of God and uh, I hope that you caught the first uh, session and uh, be able to continue on with us with, with this part of uh, the divine call of God. Uh, as um, Merle and I spoke earlier, it's, it's very important that we know who we are mm -hmm. and whether what, what and where God has called us and what God is wanting to do with with our lives. And and matter of fact, we just was saying that everyone has got a purpose. Um, I think I started out in the other session by talking about my own uh, call. I won't go back into that again because if you catch the first session, you will, you will have that uh, information where I shared that. Um, but I do want to um, uh, pick up with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at um, Jeremiah, because we, talk, we talked a little bit about um, how, uh, how we are called. Uh, and we agreed that from birth that uh, God already knows what he's going to have us to do while we're here in the earth. That we are, we all have a purpose and uh, 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 on a, a, a purpose for our lives. And it's not just to uh, be, um, uh, have self uh, uh, gratification uh, you know, enjoying life, mm -hmm. going to the beach or whatever. There's, we were left here to occupy until Jesus came mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And so we all have something that we are supposed to be doing here in the earth. Mm -hmm. And I had just before we um, uh, ended the first, the first session, talked about how, um, oh goodness, Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Is it about the various positions in the church? Yes, and the, yes. Yeah, uh, the yes. callings, and it's not just all about the preacher yes, and the thank pastor, you. Thank you. evangelist, teacher, the Ephesians 4 uh, thank gifts. You. How sometimes mm -hmm. we think that certain mm -hmm. gifts, certain callings are better than others. Every mm -hmm. single thing that God would have any of us do here in the earth is important. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's cleaning the church, uh, be the best church cleaner you can be. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, taking care of the bathroom, mm -hmm. be the best bathroom cleaner that you can be. It's, it's, you're just as important as uh, the, off, the, the five-fold ministry gifts and calls that God, that Lord left uh, before he ascended to, to, to establish and to build up the church and as, as important as the gifts that's mm -hmm. in 1 Corinthians, I believe 12, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That uh, come through by the Holy Ghost. Uh, all, all of, uh, of us who have a gift of any kind or calling of any kind is it, they're, they're all important. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. I, I'm just gonna throw these questions out and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to, to Prophet Merlin to, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, and we'll talk some about being set apart. Um, answering the call of God. So, when did you receive the call? Did a prophet speak it into your life? That's what happened with me for, uh, for the uh, uh, apostleship, for the uh, apostle, for the office of the apostle. And um, yeah, well, yeah. And, and for the, evan evan for the evangelist, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get my thoughts together. But even as, um, as the evangelist, of course, when uh, the, for the first um, time of being prophesied to about be, being a preacher, uh, I didn't know that it was for an evangelist. Mm -hmm. I, I went to Arkansas and I met this lady from 
um, Mexico, mm -hmm. who had never seen me a day in her life, mm -hmm. and she ran out of the church to catch me, to tell me that I had an anointing on my life mm -hmm. as an evangelist. And when she said that, it was like when Mary went to Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Remember, Elizabeth was carrying John, and of course, Mary was carrying our, our mm -hmm. Lord, our and, Lord Savior. and Savior. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the baby leaped in the womb. It was like, yes, mm -hmm. I, that's who I am. Yeah. And so I came back and I told the mm -hmm. pastor, and, and he was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but di uh, or did God speak to you through a prophetic dream, uh, or did the call come as it did to Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1 and 5? Mm -hmm. Because if you have read Jeremiah 1 and 5, you will know that God called him to be a prophet to the nation. Mm -hmm. But Jeremiah was like, I'm, oh, I'm just a kid. I didn't. And so <laughs> the Lord, God told, told him to just stop it, that um, he had called him to be a prophet to the nation. And, and I'm gonna leave it at that because um, mm -hmm. I, I don't have it verbatim of, of mm -hmm. what all went on in that, in that particular scripture. But if you get a chance, look at Jeremiah 1 and 5. Um, I, wa I wanted us to talk some about, uh, uh, was there anything you wanted to I was add gonna, to that? Uh, well, you, I think your question was, how did you know you were called or what, did you accept the call or something like that? I was just, the, the things, I was trying to go through some of the things I had went through. We were talking about, wow, uh, 1990s, I guess. I would just was having supernatural encounters and mm -hmm. experiences mm -hmm. and things just started to really wake up. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I'd always dreamed anyway, but they were different and visions. And um, I can recall one, one time I was in prayer, kind of waiting to get ready to head, start my day. And um, I was just interrupted by this angel that came and said, come. <laughs> this big old white hand just kind of appeared in my my face. I'm kind of out of it a little bit, but I jumped and and you before you, I could jump, yeah, just meditating and you know and just enjoying the peace and presence of God. So I, I had that for it was awesome. I always kind of had that. Anyway, uh, it it came and and when I I saw it, I tried. I jumped back before I could even jump back. I had heard this soothing voice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Do not be afraid. And then it just, it, you just melt. I just melted and I guess I disappeared, went out of my body, my spirit Whoa. into heaven. Whoa. And I call that the call yes. because, you know, God's real good with giving you symbols. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he speaks to us that way. And, and so the hand represented the fivefold call mm -hmm. and being set apart because mm -hmm. I was taken somewhere where I knew I was set apart. It didn't seem like I was where there was a whole lot of activity. Okay. But it really felt almost like it was in a, in a very uh, sacred place or holy place. Mm -hmm. um, I did see um, uh, what I could could see, what the Lord allowed me to see was figures and people that were, you know, glorified in their glorified bodies or, you know, of course, they're not glorified bodies. That's what we get. Yeah. So there's, there's yeah. some other type of uh, being that was there. But, um, and, and that's kind of like the first time I really had something like that happen, which was really different. And I've had, I've had some other experiences like that since, mm -hmm. but it just seemed to start to move, put things in motion. Mm -hmm. It's just certain times in your life, certain things happen that right. put things in motion. And I, I believe the prophetic word is key. Mm -hmm. It releases a seed. Yes. It's like something yes. that has to be able to develop in you. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like a baby, you mm -hmm. know, when you go through the first trimester, second mm -hmm. trimester, mm -hmm. it grows and that word like grows that. in you yeah. and things start to open up. And when it's released, it's releasing power, it's releasing light, mm -hmm. it starts things in motion. So the prophetic and prophecy is so, 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 so important yeah. and key in our lives. And yes. it's, a, it's amazing how it's not embraced uh, today like it really needs to be. I think that's kind of why we haven't we're mature to where we need yes. to mature yes. because we haven't yes. received that. But I have had uh, the, the prophetic words that have come forth as well uh, for the calling. Mm -hmm. So I think God calls you 
and then man will confirm you. Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's he kind of agrees with what God is doing in your mm -hmm. life to help guide you, mm -hmm. so you know which way you you need to go and what direction you need to go. And then another season in time will happen where there's another experience. And I'll just say one more time: there's a, it was almost like at least maybe ten years after that happened. Uh, I'm just at home in my in my prayer closet praying, okay. and I just get this experience. And I, you know, had really spent some time reading um, "Good Morning uh, Holy Spirit" by Benny Hinn. Oh yes. And I mean, I had the Holy Spirit come and visit me like two or three nights in a row, wow. in just heavy presence, just enveloping me. Wow. And I was like, I don't know what you want. But okay, I'm yes. going to figure this out. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and not be fearful, and yes. I'm going to yield my spirit, and I'm just going to receive what all you're giving me. Yes. <laughs> I'm just yes. soaking it in. Yes. And so there's just, just those times that God will will take you that way yes. as you can, you know, you do go ahead and, and yield yes. and make that sacrifice of being in His presence and and finding out um, what He has for you. Yes. Oh, uh, that's hallelujah. Awesome. That's awesome. Mm. That's awesome. Whew, praise yes. the Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Oh, yes, thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank His you, presence Jesus. Is awesome. It changes us. You know, it's, we, we become a new person. Yes. You know, my teaching for this month, oh, my, on Monday, I have my prophetic oh, okay. gathering. Okay. It's going to be on transformation. Oh, okay. It's going to be amazing. And that, this is some of the stuff that yes. we'll, we'll talk about then. Yes. Mm. Oh, and so, yeah. um, I, I say that in another place, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit says, separate unto me Barnabas and Saul. Mm -hmm. And that was prior to him giving him the name Paul. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. he, he, he does separate us. Of mm -hmm. course, I think as we spoke a little bit last night, I talked about how mm -hmm. um, when we give our lives to Christ, mm -hmm. we are automatically separated. Uh -huh. Uh, yes. From you know, from the world. Yes. And but then, as we are walking this life out, then mm -hmm. if 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 um, not if the purpose that God had put us here for, mm -hmm. we are separated for that particular that purpose. Purpose. Yes. Yes. Now I want you to elaborate some more on that. On purpose and walking it out, or yeah. is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I think that uh, when God has a call on your life, and now I'm probably speaking more to those called to ministry. Ministry is anything that you're doing in the church mm -hmm. to, to uh, serve people, to serve God's people, mm -hmm. to uh, grow the church. Mm -hmm. Rather it be ushering and greeting at the door, oh, yeah. or, or counting the offering, mm -hmm. or a giver. Some You're of right. us are really, God blesses us with resources that we're yes. able to give. Yes. And it's not just that we're giving to our local church. You could be giving and supporting other ministries. That's right. You know, I give to Israel. Yes. You know, I support monthly to uh, TBN and some of the others. Yes. Because it's, it's what how you are blessed. Yes. That's what the Bible right. says. If we give, you know, he'll increase that. You know, you and receive, at, you ex give. Exactly. And he will continue to honor, honor that as well. But all of that is building the body of Christ because we all have a place. In Romans chapter 12, you can read uh, some of the areas of ministry that you could be a part of. So mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about pulpit ministry. I'm right. talking about ministry within a church. Right. How about serving with the children? Right. If you love children and you have a gift, mm -hmm. or you're a school teacher, mm -hmm. I mean, you take that same gift into the church, and God is going to anoint it. Yep, absolutely. And He will have you um, uh, create, uh, be creative in mm -hmm. different ways mm -hmm. in ministering to children and young ch uh, child, school age children. How about? teenagers. I love to work with the teenagers. Now, I, I would get down there with the toddlers. I just wasn't effective talking about Jesus with the toddlers. I would just tell them, I would just love on them more than anything else like we do with babies. But there's a way to impart as well to them. Yeah, yeah. But teenagers, oh my, they are so um, open to new experiences. Yeah. And they want to hear the real deal. 
They yeah. want it. And so, and, and they don't hold back. Yeah. And so that was an area, that's where I kind of began some of my speak, my speaking and teaching came through ministering uh, to the youth. And so wherever God is calling you, do what he wants you to do there. I am, I just turned on my birthday, 68 years old. Oh, wow. And I, awesome. I have just began to really fulfill the call of my life, uh -huh. the call of a prophet, where mm -hmm. he has given me platforms and places where I can release the word of the Lord, utterances. He's opening up doors of utterances yes. and opportunities for what I have to say, what he has to say through me, can minister to his people and, and uh, meet whatever it is or you know, the will of God on their lives as I prophesy or release the word of the Lord or release the utterance. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's more to that because there's also training and equipping. Yes. There's yes. the mentoring. That's, that's right. Mm -hmm. that's and I, right. so now I, I meet one-on-one -on -one with up and coming prophets that, that need the guidance and the direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to take as long maybe as maybe it took me to get where I need to go. One thing God did tell me to do is that I wasn't going to get it from just this gift or that gift or this church mm -hmm. or this ministry. Mm -hmm. You have to go wherever it is, wherever that anointing yes. is yes. and that impartation is that he needs to get to you yes. to continue to develop you so that you will grow. And so if that's the process, kind of that's a, a process yes. that it might take time. It's yes. taken me 60, I'm 60, but my, my training maybe started 20, 30 years ago, but that process is that long. But every gift, every impartation, mm -hmm. every word of utterance, mm -hmm. every laying on a hand yes. and activation yes. is a part of you. It becomes a part of your DNA yes. and what God's created you to be and to do. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. that's awesome. That's awesome, that, it, that is so true. I had a thought, but I yeah. lost it, Merle. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, when I was talking about Paul, mm -hmm. but, but that wasn't the thought, but I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to that. Mm -hmm. When I was talking about Paul, um, and I, I think I shared that I was, we, as we spoke last night, mm -hmm. how he was set apart mm -hmm. to work with the Gentiles. Uh -huh. um, Paul was an uh, educated individual. Um, it came up with, um, oh, I can't think of the, uh, was it Agrippa? I think, uh, mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. he was very educated, but Paul was killing up the, the women and the children and doing all kinds of stuff. And we, we talked about that once here too on the program about how mm -hmm. to not kick against the gold. Mm -hmm. And so, um, when we know that, that God has called us into a particular area, mm -hmm. we need to embrace it. Exactly. We need to embrace it. Mm -hmm. uh, but like Paul, he, he had to, Jesus had to meet him on the road to Damascus mm -hmm. and ask him why was he kicking against the pricks. And we, there's, there's a lot of people who mm -hmm. know that they have been called sure. to, to and to do certain things, mm -hmm. but they said that uh, I'm I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't have the ability to do it. And of course, I told God that myself. Mm -hmm. I'm like I don't I don't know enough. And He said, mm -hmm. You don't need to know enough. I will fill your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now I was not ignorant to the fact that uh, thinking that I didn't have to study or, or anything. Mm -hmm. I knew I I needed to study, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so. Um, but if we know that God has called us to a particular, uh, because I, I think that you don't, um, you don't um, succeed in life like you could if mm -hmm. you would just yield to mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. and yeah. do whatever it is that he's calling you to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's because of people, but sometimes it's because of fear. Fear mm -hmm. that I can't do this. If God called you, he will be the one to see to it that you carry it out, or that you have the ability to carry it out. That's right. To walk it out. Mm -hmm. So, um, That's right. uh, a little bit more about being set apart. Do, mm -hmm. do you have anything on that that you could, you could share? Well, for me, um, in my younger years, <laughs> I actually was a cigarette smoker. And I can remember once I got 
saved and baptized, that desire for it was really not as strong, mm -hmm. but I, I knew it was something I couldn't get rid of all by myself. It was something I was used to doing. It was like habit forming. So I knew it was an addiction. And then it was just, I just cried out to God and just kept saying, okay, I'm a, how many times do we quit? <laughs> yeah. Over the time, years, you yeah, know, several. Yeah, yeah. And, but it was just one time, I don't know when it happened. I just knew it was during the month of February, it was during the revival we were having at Victory Church that the, I just hadn't had one and didn't want one. And I didn't, I just quit smoking. It was just like that, instantaneously. Mm -hmm. So to say, the process Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of got sanctification it. Got it. can be um, you you having to give up some things that you were doing before, watching certain TV programs, mm -hmm. maybe being around certain people, wearing mm -hmm. certain clothing. Mm -hmm. All of this is a part of being sanctified and set apart and set for apart. God's use. Yeah. Because those are those are lifestyles that you had before you were born again. Yes. But as this new creature in Christ where you are, you want he wants to. you to be holy, and you yeah. want to be holy. Yes. And you want to be pleasing unto Absolutely. God. And you want to be a representation of him. And you want his glory to be in your life and on your yes. life. Yes. And that happens as we tr are transformed, you know, from glory to, to glory. glory to glory. Yes. It's a process. Yes. And I had to spend a lot of time in prayer and fasting. Yes. Prayer and fasting. Yes. Now, I don't have to do as much prayer and fasting. Yeah, that, Not that I've that, arrived, but it's for the different reasons now well, than it was yeah, then. Yeah. Then was sanctifying and yeah. getting cleaned up, yeah. changing yeah. my habits and on yeah. and on. And, and, uh, and, you know, and that's the sacrifices. Remember we talked yeah. about suffering? Uh -huh. Though some of that is suffering for some of us. Uh -huh. Unless you have to give up certain people that you really liked or enjoyed, but they're not where you're going. That's right. You can't take everybody to you know, where you're going. That's right. And you may have to give up even some relatives. Yeah. To go where you need, where God That's wants right. to take you. That's right. Mm -hmm. you, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's look, let's look at the, uh, the difference in set apart and chosen. Mm -hmm. Is chosen the same thing as... as <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Okay. You, you know, Dr. Paula Price, she says that we are the elect. Uh-huh. <laughs> the ecclesia, uh -huh. the church, mm -hmm. are the, we are elect. Mm -hmm. So she, she definitely, and I do too, believe in pre, or being preordained our destinies, being preset mm -hmm. before we even arrive in this earth. Mm -hmm. It's already been determined mm -hmm. what you're going to do and what you're going to be. Mm -hmm. I also believe that you can make the decision not to go through it if you don't want, because we are free will agents mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, God gives so us a choice. So many are called, few are chosen. I think that's the chosen. Those yeah, well, who this, decide this is, to go all the way with God. Yeah, I'm looking here at uh, Acts 9, 15, where, mm -hmm. where the Lord is saying, he, he said, but the Lord said unto him, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles wow. and the and kings and the children of Israel. So we see uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, that yes. he was set apart and chosen for that particular yeah. purpose in, in, in the earth. Mm -hmm. And I think with that, no matter what, you're going to fulfill that purpose. Yeah. God is going to make sure of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. He'll take care of anything that gets in the way. He's not going to allow anything to happen. How many times have you say that, oh, wow, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, well, yeah. That accident would have taken me out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would have been, been killed in that fire had he not sent the firemen to the window to take us out of the, oh, out of the home. I, that we, we locked ourselves up in the bathroom, oh, hold downstairs, all burning wow, up. They could, not, they could not get in to get me and my two siblings. Yes. We were in the bathroom upstairs, yes. hiding in the tub. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. That you, could have been you, an angel you, that he sent up oh, yeah. to get us out of that that bathroom. You're making me have flashbacks. Yeah. So many. Yeah. So many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But God mm -hmm. made sure mm -hmm. that you were, yes. you were taken out of that yes. situation. Yes. Because he had. 
yes. great plan yes. for you. And just think of all the trials and the tests. Yes. And yeah. the tests that you pass. Yeah. And what comes as a result of that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. more kingdom dominion that you could have on this earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And authority and, and the yes. power and anointing you can walk through in yes. Yes. to help set ca the captive free. Yes. Walk and be like Jesus. Yes. Jesus says we're to be like him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In this earth. Like yes. right now. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. To be like him. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. You, to love like him. To, to love, accept to have the under, you know, yeah, the compassion. Like he. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you could be the called out one. You're called, we're the called out ones. We're yes. the chosen. Yes. You can choose to be chosen. What? Say you can, that again. You can choose to be chosen. What? <laughs> I like that. Don't be just called. Yeah, you yeah. can choose to be, be chosen. You can, be cho you can choose to, to be, be chosen. chosen. It's your decision. In other words, I mm -hmm. hear, allow God mm -hmm. to use you. Yes, yes. It's through that you're yes. choosing to be yeah. chosen. But you gotta, you gotta die to your will. You gotta die to your will. You gotta die to your will. Not and your will no longer. And, surrender. and we don't realize on the other side of that, his will is better than our will. <laughs> oh, but goodness see, gracious. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh -huh. I, I don't know who I was talking to now. Oh, but, gosh. Oh, I think I might have been preaching even. Mm -hmm. um, someone said they watched uh, Apostle. <laughs> we got like few oh, seconds there. About a minute. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yes. you. I was fixing to go down a long rabbit trail. Uh oh <laughs> but Next time. We, we are going <laughs> to... Uh, prepare to uh, close. We, we pray that mm -hmm. uh, the first session uh, on divine, the divine call of God, that you mm -hmm. saw it, you didn't you go to YouTube and you can see it. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you enjoyed this part of the session. We love you and we'll see you the next time on In Light Connections. Bye now. Bye.